In this video, we're going to look at how to install PhantomJS. I'm using Windows 8, so depending upon what system you're on, there may be some slight differences. So there's basically three steps. First, you download the files, then you edit your path variable, and then you install PhantomJS globally. You'll want to navigate over to phantomjs.org, then click on this download button. And from here, go ahead and click download on whatever link suits your system. So since I'm using Windows, I'll download this link at the top. And we're going to be using the currently latest version of PhantomJS, which is 2.1.1. So with that downloaded, I'll open this up and you can place this wherever you want. So I put this in my documents folder. So I've already installed this in my documents folder, so you can see it right here. So if I open that up, open that up, and then the, this phantom.js executable is located in my bin folder. So if you're on Windows, you want to copy over this path into your path environment variables. So right now, if we open it up, we get a terminal window and we can execute phantom within this terminal window. So again, make sure before you do that, you go wherever your environment variables are for Windows. It's pretty much the same thing. System security. System advanced settings. then environment variables and then you attach it to your path so you would edit that and then put it at the end and then save it so that's going to give you access system-wide to this phantom.js executable now i want to be able to execute phantom within any of my terminal windows so i can do that by installing phantom globally so i'm going to open up my command prompt which is set to node and we can say npm install dash g for global and then phantom.js so one thing to keep in mind is that phantom.js is not a node package it is its own separate framework entity that can be run as you saw as an executable we're downloading it in this instance as a global package so that i can use phantom from any terminal window so as you can see, we're getting a message saying that it's already installed in this particular path. And this is another way that you can find out where the path is. I'm just going to cancel out of this since it's already been installed. So now we're able to use PhantomJS globally. And how we can do that is very similar to how we run a node server. So whenever we're running a server or loading up whatever kind of file that we want, and node we can just say node and then the name of our file right we can do pretty much the same thing with phantom we're going to say phantom.js and then the name of my file so I'm going to create a file and name it phantom.js I'm going to do it in a different directory though so I've created a folder and now I'm going to navigate into this folder in my terminal and I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name it phantom.js I'm going to open up my new file and I'm just going to go to examples and we have some various examples that we can use to check that our phantom.js is working so I'll check out this hello.js file and it's a very very simple hello world message So I'll paste that in there and I'll save it. Now I'm going to load up our file by saying phantom.js, phantom.js. And I get the hello world message, which is what we expect. So it is working. So there's a bunch of other examples that you can try out for yourself. And there's also a quick start right here. And you can get some more information on some various methods that we can use within phantom.js so again this was just a really quick video on how to install phantom.js and in the next video we'll install casper.js 
which we'll be using throughout the rest of this course.